Hi, I'm Nina. A lot of our friends and family um, get to these videos via Facebook because um, I put them also on my Facebook page. And you know who you are, Auntie Kathy Putt. <laughs> Do you see that little subscribe button down in the bottom right um, corner of this video? If you're really enjoying these videos and want to uh, keep following along, it really helps our channel if you would click that subscribe button. We really appreciate everybody following along and all of the comments we get. It just feels like um, everybody's rooting for us. So thank you so much for following along and subscribing. And now here's the rest of the video. Are you ready for the five hour drive? No. We are going to the Midwest Organic Sustainable Education Services Conference today in La Crosse, Wisconsin. And what are we going to learn? I don't know. We're going to learn about and stuff. plants and stuff. Cover crops, uh, pests, predators, what else? Composting. Hamburger. Um, it's all different people teaching about organic and sustainable farming. Oh, so interesting. It will be. I think you'll like it. I think you'll have lots to learn. I am really interested in the, the composting because we have yet to start that here because it's been the dead of winter. A little bit of lunch, Mark Fly. And probably pest control. That would be something I think would be interesting to learn about. We're learning <clears throat> pest control? Yeah. You can control this pest. Hey! Say hi! <laughs> no, like grasshoppers and aphids and... I wonder if there will be anything about um, growing in a geothermal greenhouse. I don't think I saw any geothermal information, but greenhouse information. Thanks for coming today. Dad and Painful. I got to do a lot of fun stuff. Look at my badge. Rustic Cedar Homestead. Okay, come here. We're gonna take a picture. This is a video. Yeah. Five. Okay, so now we're gonna go do what for dinner? I brought a short sleeve for this. <laughs> you like those red beans and rice? And your jambalaya? It's really good. It's really good. It's new countertop day. We are just in the process of unhooking the sink and removing the old plywood countertops. <laughs> So pretty. Yeah. This is called soapstone mist. I could just use this too.
Okay. I'd say the board is clean. Okay. Eric's shooting his gun for the first day, our first time today. We just cleaned it all and now he's going to shoot it. All right. Do the breath thing. Ooh, close. Nice. Did he get it? Oh, yeah. Whoa, Whoa! Two for two. Oh, oh my. Eric! Oh my! Guess who's gonna be getting dinner? Yeah. Wow, dude! Three times in a row. Awesome. Wow. So fun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to hit well, the target. So try that with your eye. Maybe he can see it with both. Can you? No. Okay. So. Do the circle thing and get the well head in there. Now close your yeah. right eye. Yeah, I can see the well head. You can see the the well head with. <clears throat> close your right eye. Yeah. Can you still see it? Yes. Now close your left eye. Can now you see it? Now I can't it? see it. Now my hand is in the way. Oh, so you are left eye dominant. I'm left eye dominant and I'm right handed. Right handed. Hmm. So what are the things that excite you? in life. Me, dishwashers. Look at this. My dishwasher is hooked up and I saved all my dishes from yesterday to use it. You know what I forgot though? I forgot that you have to have dishwasher detergent to use it. I think it actually came with a little. Oh, that's pack. right, I forgot. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are going to use a dishwasher for the first time. Doesn't take much. A bunch of things are picked up. Wait, why am I doing the dishes? I shouldn't have to do them anymore. Seven and a half months of hand washing dishes. Somebody else. I don't know. I just thought it would be fun. I'm trying it. I want to do it. You want to do it? All right, come and put some silverware or some bowls in here. Here. I think to use the least amount of water, we should use this express wash. Okay. So that's the one we were using? Yeah, try it. And then I think we start. hit start. And it says washing. I can't hear it. Pretty quiet. It's moving out day. Bruce and Susan, I think, are coming to get all their stuff out of here. It's like uh, leaving the hospital with your baby. You just rip off the band aid and they send you home, and our in house contractor won't be here every day anymore. Our in-house Mr. Fix-It, Mr. Yeah. and Mrs. Fix-It. Right. We're on our own. The 
it's floor time. We're finally to the flooring step. <clears throat> We're starting an air stream so we can work all the way from that corner all the way to the shower. Where's Eric? He should be putting the first piece down. Eric, dad says he wants you to put the first piece in. Eric. Ah. Okay, give him the piece. What are you doing? Putting these shims in place. Shishim. Oh, because you have to hold it, or it has to be out a quarter inch? Yeah. It's just hard because the wall shiplap comes out further than the shim needs to be. Oh. It's a momentous occasion. Okay. Ta da! Nice work. <laughs> I am the greatest. Only. Only I could have done that. I don't know what, 3,000 more to go? Yeah. Does that seem about right? 3,000? Uh, 200, I'll say. Well, I mean, for the whole cabin? Yeah. 3,000. I guess we could count them at some point. Well, let's go look at how many are in a box. Oh, yeah. It's math. <laughs> so we have... Eight planks per box. Okay. Do you remember how many boxes we bought? There's only 47 boxes. So what does that mean? 47 times eight. There's only eight in a box. Did you count this box? Oh, no. Nope. So 48 boxes. That's a lot to go. This is the vent that I mentioned in an earlier video that takes the hot air from up in the loft and puts down into Eric's room. It seems like all I do is show you our house progress, but I also wanted to share some of our personal progress too. Um, we were a little worried, like a lot of you were, that we'd be really lonely in the middle of the woods out here. And as you'd expect, the boys have missed their friends from Chaska, and Joel and I have really missed our friends too. But we have met so many people up here, and I think we could drive to Duluth every day of the week for homeschool events. Owen's found this indoor skateboarding park that he loves. Eric's been going to a game store for meetups. So I don't want any of you to worry about us. We are more than okay. We will never replace what we had in Chaska. I mean, that was just a phenomenal place to raise our family and it will always be a part of us. And this is a little shout out to all you Liberty Heightsers. And as far as the how we're doing holding up mentally with all of the work, Joel and I have always worked really well together. Some of you comment that you never see us arguing. Um, well, here's what I'll tell you about that. Joel and I complement each other really well because Joel cares about every detail and I couldn't care less, as long as it works. We are also incredibly proud of how our boys have adapted. And, you know, there are days when I do worry, and it helps me to see them doing so well. So they're kind of an inspiration for me. We miss Kyle a lot since he's gone to college. 
that in itself has been an adjustment for all of us. I still find myself setting the table for five for dinner. So thanks to everyone for continuing to follow along. I promise there will be more on the greenhouse very soon.